All right, everybody, welcome back. And in this step, we're going to start uh, putting together your middle of funnel content plan. And if you're at a really, really large organization, you may not be responsible for generating leads in the middle of the funnel. You may be uh, simply, uh, you know, let me just give you an example. You know, when I was with salesforce.com and their content team, we were primarily involved in top of funnel activity only. We were there to generate uh, offer awareness and to get people uh, grow website traffic and engagement and all that stuff at the top of the funnel. And then middle of funnel uh, stuff was uh, handled by a smaller portion of our team. And then an even smaller portion um, of the team handled the bottom of funnel content. And uh, so it, it may or may not be something that you get involved with. Now, if you're, if you're sitting there thinking, boy, I'm not, a, not only am I not on a, on a big team, I am the team. All right. So I am everything here. Uh, then yes, you are, you are going to be responsible for tofu, mofu and bofu. You're going to be from the top of the funnel all the way to the bottom. You are going to be the one that, that needs to be generating this content and managing the strategy. And so if you know that you are going to be a mofu, uh, responsible for middle of funnel activity. So generating leads in, you know, acquiring customers uh, right there in the middle of the funnel, go ahead and check that off. All right. And then let's look at the goals. Okay. So are you looking for email list growth? Are you looking at retargeting list growth? Initial customer acquisition is another, um, another goal that you might have at the middle of the funnel. Now your organization may be different and you may not have one of these three goals, or you might need to add uh, your own goal in here that meets your organization, uh, you know, where it, where it lives, you know, your organization is going to be different than, than every other organization. Uh, now we look at content types. Okay. So you know what you need to get done from a goal standpoint. What are you going to to create that's going to get that done? Is it going to be an educational resource? Is it going to be a quiz? Webinars? Are you going to do discount clubs? So pick the content types that you are going to use to execute on your middle of funnel activity. How are you going to generate leads? How are you going to, uh, you know, grow subscribers? And, um, you know, what content types are you going to use for that? And then lastly, what are the metrics you're going to commit to measuring in, you know, when you do your reporting, is it going to be a uh, number of leads and email list growth offer conversion rate, All right? Are you going to be uh, measuring retargeting list growth? Are you going to measure open rates and click through rates, right? Are you going to measure these things? And if so, go ahead and tick these off. Because in the end, whether it's just you and all by yourself, you're lonesome, or whether you're on a team, or whether you're reporting to somebody or have clients, you're going to want to use a content plan. And that's what's shaping up here. You're starting to go through the, the, the top of the funnel. How are you going to attack it? And then you're in now in the middle of the funnel. How are you going to attack it? What is the content plan? What are the things that you are going to use to generate leads in the middle of the funnel? And... Now that you've gone through the goals, content types, and metrics for the middle of the funnel, it's time to start talking about the bottom of the funnel. See you in the next video.